guys. Excuse my appearance. I'm a little, a little rough right now. It's the end of the day. End of that work makeup day. Face is all shiny. <laughs> Doesn't help that I've been laying on the couch all day. So, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Catherine Elise, and I try and post videos twice a week. I've been getting lucky and posting three videos a week. It all depends. I usually do like Monday. Wednesday, Saturday, or Sunday. Just depends on how I'm feeling. But as you guys have probably guessed, this video is a. I don't. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video. It's either gonna be "I really bought that" or "Why did I buy this?" or "What I buy this again?" Um, but for right now, these are kind of my empties. All the things that I've used in like the past six months or so. I don't know. But yeah, before we get into this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button right here, followed by the little bell, and also give this video a thumbs up for more videos like this, because I really like doing this, and I like you guys seeing what I use for the daily basis. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Oh, and uh, this is my <laughs> bin thingy right here. First, I'm going to start off with some hair care stuff. Ah, uh, yes, I've got a bunch. So I got a lot of hair care stuff. Um, some of them are repeat buys, as you guys will see in this video. Holy jabroni! Um, what the hair care do I have here? Boy. Okay. So to start off, I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna really go in a particular order. I'm just going to start off with what I have right now. And it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo, the Clean and Light Bare one. Um, I used the brunette one, the darker brunette one before, and I really like that one. And I honestly love anything by Batiste. It's really good. And on the bottle it does say vegan and not tested on animals, so that's a plus. You can find this at Ulta, Walmart, I believe, Target, any drugstore. It's a really good brand. And if you have not tried out any dry shampoos, I would recommend going with Batiste. Next is a conditioning balm. I currently don't have the shampoo out here because it is still being used. It's the Matrix Biolage Ultra Hydra Source. This is a conditioning one. I got this last winter, so almost a year ago. And I got it because my hair was just going really crazy and it was really dry and I needed something that would really hydrate my hair and they have a whole line with the Matrix Biolage collection and I really like the hydrating one so if you have dry hair definitely check that out. Another thing for kind of dry hair, um, if you have curly hair you may have heard of the LOC, the L-O-C method where you use a leave-in hair conditioner followed by an oil which is the OGX, the Renewing and Argan Oil of Morocco, Extra Penetrating Oil Dry and Coarse Hair. This is, I love this stuff. I use it daily with uh, any type of hair routine that I'm going for. And it's really good. It's really great. Um, I have a couple of Living Proof things. This one's, I guess it's kind of empty, but I just can't get anything out of it anymore. It's the Living Proof Full Think It thickening mousse and I usually use this whenever I would straighten my hair just to get a little more volume at the roots and it worked pretty well I mean it kind of worked it worked decently with my curly hair so um, I don't I'm not necessarily necessarily sure I would buy this one again but what I would buy again is the this one the living proof perfect hair day the fresh cut split end mender it instantly he seals and heals and yeah, I really like it. Um, if you're worried about the smell for some of these, I wouldn't be too worried because all the Living Proof products smell basically the same. And I have seen a big difference when I use this. Um, I think they do have a shampoo and conditioner that goes with this. So if you're into having your hair looking fresh, like until you get your next haircut, or if you ever never want to get a haircut again, definitely check out the Perfect Hair Day line. Um, here for my leave-in conditioners, 
is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Coconut Milk and African Marula Tea Tree Oil. It's a high moisture soothing cream. It's for dry hair. I do have dry hair even though I have curly hair. It's like I have oily roots but dry ends. So this helped out really well. I use this yeah, with my lock method and it's really good. I would purchase it again but I am stuck on this line right here. This is the Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Leave-In Conditioner. It's intense moisturizing for all curl types, anti-frizz, and curl retention. This stuff is really great. I have another bottle that I'm working on right now. And I'm not sure if in my last video I had an empty of this one. But if I did, then it's a really good purchase. So I guess I would repurchase this one because not only is Not Your Mother's affordable, it's also cruelty-free. So, yeah, go ahead and check this out. <laughs> yeah, really good. The Not Your Mother's Kinky Moves Curl Defining Hair Cream. I use this at the end of my LOC method, leave-in oil cream, and this is a hair cream. Obviously, I would repurchase this again because I bought two, and I just bought another one. So, yeah, really good. And it smells really good, too. That's the one thing I love about this brand. Everything smells super good. This one is grapeseed and jasmine extracts. Moving on to... I guess makeup. I have a few things that are makeup in here. Um, not too much because I don't really go through makeup that fast. So I did I put the other one in my used up. I might have put the other one in my used up video. These are good. Um, it's still quite an adjustment going from like the Neutrogena Hydrating Makeup Remover Wipes to these which are not as moisturized or pre-moistened like the Neutrogena ones, but if you aren't that big on the moisture, definitely check out the Shea Moisture brand. These are good towels. They're better than the ones that I'm using now. That is it's definitely not a repurchase. I would repurchase these again, but I'm currently going through different kinds of makeup remover wipes just to see which one works best for me. Um, my trusty Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. As you can see, I could no longer get anything out. You know, that would have just been a waste of my time. So yes, I would repurchase it. I'm using a fresh one right now. So, yeah, I would repurchase that. <sighs> I hate to say this disappointed me. I filmed a sentimental... Let me put this up on sets. It's going to go up on a Sunday. It's called my Sentimental Sunday Series. And I was expecting this to live up to the hype that it used to when I first got it. The Naked 2 palette. Um, no. Obviously, I'm not going to purchase it if I'm getting rid of it. So, This is actually... No, I lied. This was not my first Urban Decay palette. The Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray, the oil control one. I like it, but I've been using it as a prep spray and then I would go in and put a primer on it and this nozzle was just not working for me whenever I would spray it on my face it would go that way it would just not even hit my face so I had to put it in an empty <laughs> NYX matte spray so yeah that bottle would have been in my used up video but it's currently being used right now so but whatever you purchase this probably yes Unless the nozzle sucks, and then I'll put it in a different bottle. So, yeah. I have uh, some more makeup. These I am obviously getting rid of for obvious reasons. These are the Maybelline mascaras, the Colossal Volume, I think. Words are pretty rubbed off. The Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express, the Maybelline The Rocket, and the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama. For obvious reasons, I am getting rid of these, and also they're old and tried up will not be repurchasing these until Maybelline finally decides to stop testing on animals. The next one is Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour. I did a video, I can't remember which video it was, I think it was my uh, Dragon, yep it was definitely my Dragonfly Inspired tutorial where I used this foundation first because I thought it would you know match my skin tone because I used it in a video before I think, um, I think it went up in March, and this was perfect for me. 
my shape, match my shape perfectly. Well, match my neck perfectly, but I don't know. But I just won't be repurchasing your one anymore. Next is some, I have a wallflower that I used up. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is the Thousand Wishes one. So I'm not sad that it's empty because I have another one, but I have a different wallflower in right now. Next is like the holy grail besides this, which is a Formula X nail polish from Sephora. I'm getting rid of this because it's clumpy. Put it on my toenails and it just did not work out for me. Um, skincare. Jesus, I got a lot. Ugh. I picked this up It's Ulta. I think I put this in an Ulta haul. And this worked really well for my skin. It really did get everything all cleaned up. And for some reason, I used this or I used this. And I just broke out all right here. I don't know why. I had... I I think I had an allergic reaction to this combo, so for that I will not be keeping this. I'll be getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. This didn't need um, like a head replacement because this is silicone, so the packaging said you didn't need to replace it, but you did need to replace the batteries. But this is a good starter if you're not one into the big face device cleaners if you don't want to spend $100 on one of the big brand ones. So if you want to try out this one, go ahead. Um, just don't pair it with any serums like I did. Which brings me to the e.l.f. serum. I do still have product in it, but I'm scared to use it again because I did have that allergic reaction. This hydrating serum line was really good. Um, my skin was just freaking out a bit um, from all the breakouts, and it was super dry from the acne treatments. So I would use this at night with the other hydrating products, and I'd wake up to fresh and glowy skin. So eventually I will repurchase this, but just right now my face needs to chill out. Let's see, this is the Pixie Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. This one's the SW Basics 5 Ingredients Toner. This one's Apple Cider Vinegar Based. And this one is the Thayer's Witch Hazel rose petal toner. Um, I love the Thayer stuff. I have a bigger bottle right now and I absolutely love it. You can find these at Target. I've, I mean, I found mine at Target, so I don't know if they're sold anywhere else. But, yeah. I mean, if you're looking for a good cruelty-free toner, because it has cruelty-free the little bunny right here, definitely pick this up. And, yeah, just watch your face transform. The Pixie Glow Tonic 5% Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Toner. I don't really feel like it exfoliated my face, but it did make my, like, around my nose because my nose is really bumpy from, I guess, all the blackheads or whatever. That, I don't know, my nose just felt better. But, I, I mean, I don't think I'll repurchase it right away because this has been empty for quite some time. Next, another Target find. I couldn't even get through this because it... The five ingredients in the SW Basics toner is water, organic apple cider vinegar, organic witch hazel, organic clary sage, and sandalwood oils. I, if you can get past the apple cider vinegar smell, then go ahead and pick this up because I'm sure it's really good. It's uh, it lasts. It's supposed to last 12 months. It's certified B Corporation and it's cruelty free and it's USDA organic. So if you're into all the good organic stuff and cruelty free stuff, go ahead and pick this up. This was at Target. Not skincare, but, you know, still very important. This is Summer's Eve Aloe Love Cleansing Wash. I love this bottle, like the aloe one, better than all the other ones. I don't know why, it just makes me feel better. So yeah, I'll repurchase that one. The Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin. These are my favorite eye patches because they do not slip or go all over your face like other eyes like other eye patches. They are a bit pricey. I think they're about thirty dollars. And then they also have the face ones for your forehead and then your smile lines as well. So if you're not into spending all that hot money, go ahead and get the sample ones. I think that's about fifteen dollars. Doesn't come with as many packs as the big one, but if you just want to try it out, then go ahead and get this one. Next, my sister taught me this trick. Um, after you shave your legs, you know how your legs might get super itchy. Go ahead and 
apply the Johnson's Baby Cream Oil, the aloe vera and vitamin E one, and your legs will no longer itch. I, I swear this is like the best thing she has ever taught me. Oh, a few more things. Oh, another kind of shower thing is the EOS Shave Cream. I, I like this, but I just will not be repurchasing it because I don't think EOS is cruelty free. Which is disappointing because I really do like this product. So I will stick with my Pacifica Shave Cream and give a pass on this one. Oh, um, the Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant and the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. This is like heaven sent from above. I would use this maybe twice or three times a week at night or in, sometimes in the morning just if I feel like my skin needs extra cleansing. I would go in with this and oh, I love this. You can measure out how much you want in your hand. Add some water, put it all over your face, and wait, like, not even that long. And then rinse it off and you're good to go. Your face is nice and smooth. <laughs> the Mario Badescu skincare, you guys know I love this stuff. I have the big bottle right now, and I absolutely love it. I use this mainly in the winter, but sometimes I'll use it at night just for a little extra boost of hydration. And, yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to say about this other than, yes, I will be purchasing this. I do want to try the green one, but I'm so stuck on the rose water one because I love the color, like any shade of rose. <laughs> Last up is more skin care. Um, the Shea Moisture Cookie Nut and Grapeseed Oils Youth Infusing Cream Cleanser with all Leaf Extract and Avocado Oil. It's for aging skin. It's got no parabens, no phthalates, no propylene glycol. No mineral oil, no sulfates, and no animal testing. You guys all know Shea Moisture. Really good. I picked this up at Target. I kid you not, because I was just standing in checkout line with my sister one day, and she said, go ahead and pick it up. Check it out. So yeah, she said, pick it up, check it out, and you know what? I did. And I absolutely did love it. It's, it is definitely a cream-based cleanser, which is good. It got all the rest of my makeup off. And I, I love the smell of it. It's like, can I say it's like a tropical paradise? Now I don't really know what to describe it as other than grapes. <laughs> the last three things are from First Aid Beauty. Wow. I know that I said earlier that I think First Aid Beauty is no longer cruelty free. Well, that turns out that they are cruelty free. And now I'm just like super happy. <laughs> so the first one is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Oil Mattifying Gel. It helps hydrate, remove, helps hydrate, remove excess oils, and minimize the appearance of pores. And it's safe for sensitive skin. It's the as long as you're going for like mattifying and oil control, definitely pick up the Red Line. They've got clay masks, um, uh, like oil control face wash, which I do have in my shower right now, and it's really good as well. Um, the peel mask my sister used, she liked it a lot. Um, yeah, my whole family loves the First Aid Beauty line. Even my dad. This one is the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser with FAB Antioxidant Booster. It removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. And this one is also safe for sensitive skin. I use this one at night when I'm taking off my makeup. Along, sometimes I'll switch up between this one and the Shea Moisture one. Just because to give my face like some surprise of what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and this worked really well. As you guys can tell, I've had makeup just like dripping down. All around the edge. And I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. That's just how well loved it is. And last but certainly not least is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I actually just had a conversation. Um with the guy at Ulta and we were talking about this and how much we loved it and how much we're waiting for fall to come actual fall weather to be here so we can just step outside with this on our face no makeup so yeah if you have oily skin it's not bad just don't just don't like slather it all over your face otherwise you will be a grease ball 
if you do want to slather something on your face, definitely go with the mattifying gel. But in the winter, if you do tend to get drier, if you are on the oily side, definitely pick up this one. They have um, a few a few more moisturizers. I don't know how many they have. Um, I have the Coconut Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, and that one's pretty good. It gives you a nice little glow, so you can also use that one as well. But, yeah. So far, I will be repurchasing most of this stuff, mainly the hair care stuff. The face washes and moisturizers, yes. A lot of the stuff is just all up in the air. So, I guess that concludes my what did I buy, why did I buy it, and if I would repurchase it again video. And I love you guys, and I will check, check you. <laughs> I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.